Welcome back to Lisa the Painful RPG. I'm the voice of Dodd Snakes! Ah, oh, no time for introductions. We've got snakes. Welcome to the swamp area, where there are snakes. I think I may have mentioned that already. Uh, these guys are pretty similar to the snakes we fought earlier, but they're recolored, which means they're stronger. Not nearly strong enough, though. Do give us 500 experience apiece, which is pretty good. This is a decent place to level up if you're behind. The encounter rate is actually really high here, which is kind of unusual. But with 500 experience apiece, it's kind of worth it. And now I can show off some of the other abilities I haven't used in these characters. Farty is a bit of a one-trick pony. He's going to keep using Truck Slam because that's what works. Now, I'm not sure if Rooster's other abilities... Wait a minute. Wait, what are you doing there? It's a very clever disguise. Let's try out the Rooster Storm ability. Yeah, it's really expensive, but the damage is kind of middling. His other abilities, I think, are just as effective. And some of them cause tripping. Now, while the enemies here aren't that bad, uh, the poison from snakes really wears you down, so Percy's heal is going to be very handy. I noticed that Percy's uh, fire attack actually causes burning, which makes it a bit better than some of the other ones we've seen already. I don't think Brad's fireball always causes burning, but Percy's usually does. Well, if nothing else, it's a testament to how strong our party of what I thought were real. Rejects has become. Okay, so I'm cutting out a few of these fights because we've gotten way too many of them. Yeah, we're actually kind of a bit worn down, but maybe later. Oh, what's going on over here?
So, Queen Roger is a pretty great character. These guys are apparently the bees. It seems like a bad place to put a... well, whatever you would call this kind of establishment. It's really out of the way. This guy's kind of weird. Not really sure what his deal is. Uh... Oh, okay. Do I? Love it. Oh man, that was great. I can see why this place is so popular. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's it's cool, you, you guys, what you guys do, but I don't know if I'm really comfortable. Well, why not give it a shot? You know, what's the worst that could happen? That's... that's okay. I mean, y you won't tell them about this, right? Okay, later. Hey, that's cool, man. I'm here to please. You wear whatever you want. Thanks. No, this, is, this isn't that bad. Uh... Columbo? <laughs> uh... Oh, I'm really glad he didn't walk in here. Dude knows what he wants, I can respect that. Let's do this. Oh yeah, I found your weak point. What now? Whoa, hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This ain't that kind of establishment. This is a high-class club for discerning men. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's right. You get your money's worth with me, I promise. I know, I know what you mean, man, but it'll be worth it, I promise. Oh. Wow, doesn't take much for you, does it? Cheap son of a bitch. What? I'm gonna have to tell Roger to stop sending us non-human clients. Uh, I have a strict human-only policy. Well, there is only one correct answer to this, and it is most definitely Susan B. Anthony boys. Yeah, because the other ones were terrible. Well, why don't you join up with us? We could use someone who can bludgeon people in the head with a baseball bat. Hell yeah! Um, unfortunately, I hate to say this, but Queen Roger is an abysmal character in combat. Um, despite how great that cutscene with him was, I really wanted him to be a tough character, but he is just weak as hell. So we're going to change up a party again, and uh, we'll let the new blood do some damage. So we're going to put in Geese Thompson... Mad Dog, who is a tanky character, and Roger, who... yeah, you'll see. I kind of debate over which items to give Roger. Unsurprisingly, some shoulder pads are a lot more protective than a nipple patch. Now, Geese starts off with one of those oily ponchos, so we're going to change that out for a picnic blanket. Alright, this team is a bit under-leveled, so uh, we're going to take the long way back to the swamp and see how this team does. I have some high hopes for them. I think we can do pretty well. However, there is something hidden on the way back to the swamp that we didn't check out. It's actually really easy to miss. Geese uses his head to just peck enemies at a high velocity. Mad Dog is a TP character. Uh, Queen Roger can threaten enemies to leave more money at the end of battles. Uh, I will try it out in this battle, and then find out that zero times zero is in fact zero. So the entrance to this hidden place is right here. This is a great secret, and I am extremely sorry if you did not find this on your playthrough. I didn't on my first. After all, you know that jumping into water is instant death, so it's kind of counterintuitive. I'm 
sorry. Can you repeat that? I can't understand these guys at all. Alright, fish shop. Uh, sure, we'll take one of your green liquid things. Who knows, maybe someone will like it. This area has quite the soundtrack, too. Wait a sec. Um... You want to try that again? No, you actually... Th that is the definition of not fitting in, because I can tell that you're different. I mean... You're your own dude, you can do what you want, but you're not fooling anybody. Well, here's the thing, I'm just gonna help myself to it. Whoops. Uh, where are we now? Hi. Wait, what? Oh, jeez. Um... Fuck. What? No! I didn't say any of that. What? Apologize for what? What the hell just happened? I'm really tempted to say I hate you, but... Well, now we have a lawyer fish. You know, for a world with very little law in it, I don't think there's much use for a lawyer these days. But Harvey manages to make himself pretty useful. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters. We'll be using him pretty soon. Until then, we still need to figure out the verdict on our new team. Now, I said a few episodes ago that Mad Dog is a pretty solid character. Um, that's definitely true, although he's definitely behind in levels, because you can get him much earlier than this. Geese is a decent character, but I think he kind of lacks variety or utility besides just straight damage output. But we still have half a swamp to traverse, so we'll see how this goes. Now, Mad Dog does have an ability to give himself TP, but it also draws attention to him, which is pretty good. We, that's the kind of thing we want to do, since he has good defense and high health. Oh, wow, Roger. That's... that's not good at all. So you may have noticed, Queen Roger is a joy addict. The first other joy addict we've met so far. So 
So on top of Roger not being able to do any damage and missing all of his attacks, uh, he ends up being crippled by withdrawal. And given that we don't have a whole lot of joy to throw around, I don't think we're going to keep Roger around too much. I have yet to make use of him. Maybe he gets some really great abilities and is awesome when you are constantly feeding him joy. But I don't think we'll be finding out how that works. Mad Dog also has my favorite fire attack in the game. It is... The tiniest fireball. Well, that was a fun trip. God, even Geese's regular attacks do very good damage. That may be his niche. Other than that, I'm not really sure what he's good for. But there's very few characters in this game who just do straight damage and are good for nothing else. Alright, let's see what's behind this door. Is that skin? feeling it was one of you. Alright, Roger. Here's your chance to prove yourself. And Brad has lost his withdrawal. This is good. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but weirdness is actually an offensive, an offense and defense debuff on characters. We don't really have a way to cure it, though. Okay, there you go, there's some decent damage. Oh, wow! Holy shit, Mad Dog. Way to hang in there. Now, there's no ability that allows you to, you know, survive with only one health. That was just sheer luck. Now, usually these mutants don't drop magazines, so I'm kind of just wasting my time. That could have gone worse. Oh, sorry, Henry. He kind of startled us, though. I'm sorry we tried to take your record. You know, though, I think there's a place we could uh, see what's on this. Let's head back to the swamp.
Did this song ring any bells? Oh. Well, Mr. Wyatt, uh, maybe you should come with us. However, I don't think we'll be showing you your brother. Yep. Just gonna never tell him the truth. Because if you do bring him back to where Bo Wyatt died, uh, he will leave your party permanently. And we want to keep him around for a bit. It's better this way. It's better if he never knows the truth. Better for us, I mean. Well, we took kind of a beating, so it looks like it's about time to chance the old campfire. Cross your fingers. What? Oh no! Geese! Oh. Oh no. They've taken Geese hostage. We've got to do something about this. We've got to save him. Pretty boys. Where do they hang out? In the meantime, we're gonna try out Bo. And... Roger, you had a good run, but I think this is where we part ways. And now time for the ceremonial equipment shuffle dance. Now, Harvey uses submachine guns. Uh, Bo is a bard, so he uses songs that can affect the whole party or all the enemies. Uh, I didn't really give Bo much of a chance in any of my previous playthroughs, but he ended up being quite good. I was really surprised. And Mad Dog has been doing pretty decent, so we're going to keep him in. He can also use the bat that Roger had, which gives him a small boost. Alright, now to get back geese. Oh, well that was... that was pretty quick. Okay, geese. We're here to save you, don't worry. We'll get you out of this. Yeah, right. You guys don't know who you're fucking with. What? Geese! No! You sons of bitches are gonna pay. Your asking price was way too high. If you had asked for a hundred, this would have been no problem. All of you will be punished. These guys are actually pretty tough. But we're gonna start by inflicting a DOT on each of them. And Head Slide is going to be pretty useful in this fight. Now 
Now, Bo starts off with a full party heal. He is pretty much the only character that can do that. I think? I'm having trouble remembering at the moment. These guys aren't going down too easy. Fortunately, Bo is going to keep us going. Oh man, these guys are really pounding us. Now, this fight goes on a bit longer than it should because I kind of underestimated them. If I had started by focusing on the weaker guys, this would not have gone on as long and would not have been nearly as bad. The problem is, the guys on the side do a pretty good amount of damage and have more health than you'd expect. I thought that the, all the side damage I was causing would take them out. But hey, that's Lisa for you. Really schizophrenic difficulty curve. Every battle could be your last. It's nice how, in a game I've played almost three times all the way through, I'm still surprised. Alright, now they're going to start to crumble pretty quick. I guess you could call this a boss fight, though an optional one. If you pay them off, you don't have to deal with them, and you get your character back. This can also happen in the first area, with a different gang, uh, but the price for getting your character back is only 100 magazines. Uh, if you do anything different, they kill the character and then attack you. But I did not have 200 magazines, so he was dead to begin with. Geese never had a chance. He was too beautiful for this world. Oh yeah, Bo is definitely... Without Bo, we would have probably died this fight. Or I would have had to throw a bunch of firebombs just to make it end quickly. So yeah, I'd say if you're really having trouble when you get to Area 2, go get Bo. He'll turn things around for you. Eat tiny fireball. So I haven't really talked about Harvey yet. Uh, he has two abilities that cause a bunch of different status effects, and an ability that is water elemental, which is kind of rare. But yeah, we get some pretty good drops for that. And it only cost us... our friend Geese. <laughs> Goodbye, Geese. I'm sorry I wasn't a richer man. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. But fuck that! Check this place out! Oh yeah, this is making me pumped. I don't even know what's in here. Yeah, man, I'm feeling it. Oh, this place is great. That dude is crushing it. I'm going to change the music if you don't mind. Oh yeah, they're totally into it.
That dude with the dresser even doubled his speed. He's really feeling it. Look at that dude. Ah, these dudes are great. Oh yeah, let's do some squats. I'm ready. I want to be stronger. Let's start with medium weight. Yes, a button mashing game. You know how great these are. This one is extremely brutal though, even on medium. I don't recommend doing this, because I was literally tired by the end of this. And you can fail if you don't go fast enough. I kind of wish I recorded the sound of me clicking my controller furiously so you could hear how hard it was getting for me. All that for 50 experience. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're done weightlifting. I'm gonna gain experience the old-fashioned way by murdering people. Alright, later dudes. Well, what turned into a hostage situation turned out to be a pretty good test of how well our new party could function. Gotta look at the bright side of things, right? We cannot mourn the past. Oh. Well, that's one thing that can happen when you sleep. You can get bit by a poisonous spider. That's when I have the brilliant idea to use bottle of water item, which cures status effects. And then I realize it doesn't cure poison. No, it seems that the only thing that can cure poison is cigarettes. Smooth. Oh, cool, cave bar. Pretty sweet place for a bar. Oh, come on, man. Wow, you are really ripped, aren't you? I mean, yeah, we do. Sure, why not? Yeah, we're, we're great people. No, we're your family now. Bertie, you're with us. We'll be your friends. Bertie is potentially a game-breaking character. Uh, I highly recommend getting him. I might hold off on using him for a little while, though. Well, we've made quite a bit of progress today. And it looks like we've got a new village here to explore, so we're going to take care of that next episode. Thanks for watching.